What's going on, y'all? This is SCS and Hey, on today on this uh 2010 Malibu, um, I'm doing the brakes and rotors, right? I totally forgot that this car had a broken lug, a broken stud on this wheel and this wheel. Had a broken stud, two on this side. One I already knocked out, one I just knocked loose. And then this side had one broke, and then one just broke when I took it to loose. I don't know how. Maybe it was already broke. But uh, the way you get these out is it's going to be hanging out a little bit. And you just, I'm going to have to get some washers. You could get a stud, a wheel stud installer, which I do have around here somewhere. But since we moved, I ain't seen it since. Yeah, this one was right here. And it just came off a bit. Got to get the caliber off. And then the, the rotor off. Then you put your new studs. I wasn't making a break and roll the video, but I was like, nah, that's too simple. Yeah, right now I do that. And now it's a break rotor and wheel stud video. So and then I gotta find another car to take to the store, which probably be the blue box Chevy because wife car is charging on the charger. This car obviously need brakes, rotors, and wheel studs. And yeah, so I'm gonna take the box Chevy to the store. These it's two boats on here, so 14. Loop nose up. Just come off. Go ahead and put your tire on. Under the car, there's case. Kind of fall on you. Y'all see, I'm, I'm using my good hand. This for a ratchet or a ratchet wrench. It'll come in handy. What you're doing in a sense is one second. Alright, what you're doing when you're doing it, you're pushing this cylinder back in, which I gotta go get some clamps from the shop. That's how I do it. I do it with clamps, but some people use the brake pads. There's all kinds of different ways. What size? Like a 17, 18 or something. Uh, these pads. Want that bad? I'm gonna keep them just in case I have some issues. But that other side, I already know bad. Why would I keep the past instead of buying new ones, right? Say if I'm in a tight situation, I hear the brakes going crazy again. I can always just grab the pads at the front, put the new pads back on. I mean, put the old pads on for temporary measures. Shoot, they worn evenly. Shoot, you could just take these and swap them out. Till you get some more or oh, shit if you cheat just swap them out so they go bad again as long as they don't um, mess up the, the rotor the rotor mess up it's done for you need both i right, suggest you getting both that's why i bought both all right so this is the wheel studs i knocked that one loose I'm gonna try to take try to put these on without taking all this stuff off because it looks like I got to take the uh, axle nuts and the hub are loose to put it on but I hope I don't all right so wife on the phone y'all hear some noise but quickest easiest way to do this is to knock caliber piece clip piece back then uh we gonna 
knock the wheel stud in. Do the other one, and then I'm gonna go get some washers to uh, put it in all the way. We like to go in the easiest one right now. I don't think these stock lamps either. All right, I found two washers in the garage, so I'm gonna roll with those. I'm gonna use the old, the old lug nuts to get it done. You ain't gotta go crazy on this. You just doing it enough to where you hear it stop moving. Yeah, hold on, I gotta put this back in. I'm gonna put it on the uh, trap pot. Up, you're gonna tear your washers up. Just heads up. I need, I need to go get two more before I go into the uh, the hood. That's basically how you do it. You get it flushing out. Then uh, you torque it down, or you can tighten it down with the impact like I've been doing and I've been breaking them. But no, just tighten it down with a with a uh, half inch to spec. I'm just gonna tighten it enough, because I'm, there you go. I'm gonna say I can't find my torque wrench, but there you go. Shit. With a breaker bar then. <laughs> Good enough. <laughs> I gotta go pick up this, these supplies, man. So I need to get this done now. Then, uh, yeah, cut y'all along for the brakes for this side. Once I tighten up the other side. All right, so the rotor is on. You just put this on once you tighten up the lugs, if you have to do that. Just put the rotor on, then the brakes. Come with some new clips. These are those clips right here. Just remove them and it's pretty much self-explanatory. Just put them in the place, then the caliber slide into the channels. I mean, the brake pad slide into the channels. Then uh, for the brake caliper, you gotta come up with something to uh, push your uh, cylinder back in. So it's because the brakes got, the new brakes got way more meat than the old brakes and they set to the old brakes. So. Uh, I seen screwdrivers, clamps, clamping dials. I got some clamping pliers, which I'm about to remove these. I tried with screwdriver, kind of hard. So I just put my uh, clamping pliers in this hole and squeeze. So, and on some cars, you got to take some channel locks and twist the actual caliber all the way back in. But it might be time for some more calibers, man. They this this how you know when they go out too far, then the rubber break, and they start leaking. Yeah, testing the uh, Malibu out. I ended up having to make the runs in my box Chevy, but I'm just testing it out, seeing what it do. Sound a whole lot better. It go to before what it was sounding like. At the light, use the left two lanes to turn onto Beaver Ruin Road. Yeah, y'all can you like to hit the brake. What y'all think now? Definitely a whole lot better. Then uh, on the driver front side, I gotta do those those studs. So um, my wheels, my my washers, every washer I had was just messing up the damn stud. So you can get a wheel stud installer; it'll make it a thousand times more accurate 
and use it, you'll have no issues. Oh, yeah, it sound way better. Y'all ever change our brakes and they were squealing, and then, uh, change, your brakes were squealing, you changed the pads and the rotors and all that, it was still squealing? All right, let me tell y'all what that is. The bolts in the caliber holder, and then the clips in the caliber holder for the brake pads, they gotta have grease on it. Tell y'all that. This is a little trick for y'all. They just starting to put that in the uh, brakes and rotors when you buying it, but I learned that about six, seven years ago. Like, what the hell? These brakes keep squealing. You gotta put grease on it. But yeah, just testing it out, man. Looks like we got this done. I can continue making my runs in this car. Yes, yes, man. I'm out.